My first memory of WIBC was probably when I was no more than seven or eight years old. Listening to WIBC, uh, Easy Gwynn, Bouncing Bill Baker. Uh, WIBC was sort of the original big radio station in Indianapolis and having grown up here, probably from the time I started listening to radio, I listened to WIBC. I have so many favorite members of WIBC. I think the things I'm proudest of, the community service, um, during storms, listening to our people, uh, get, get this community through the toughest of times. Um, I think that's probably the thing I'm proudest of about what WIBC does. I mean, obviously, I love all of our people on the air now. Uh, I can still remember so many of the disc jockeys, uh, Fred Heckman and Lou Palmer in news, and. Uh, uh, and I can remember Jimmy Darren, who ended up running the station for years. Um, so I, I love all of our people. I think my most memorable experience was buying WIBC. Uh, I felt that the station needed to be in local hands. It needed to be in the hands of people who really cared about what it has meant to this community. Um, and I think people who were not from Indianapolis couldn't appreciate the integral part uh, of this community that WIBC has been for you know six or seven decades. You know, as radio has changed, WIBC is really the voice of information. Uh, it's also the voice of talk. It allows people to express their opinions, learn new things, um, and also be the voice of information for this region. It is the one place uh, that people go to to find out critical things that are going on in this community, and I hope it never loses that position. It was the one station that sort of meant uh, the most to this community. It was larger than life, whether it was personalities, whether it was news, whether it was weather, or whether it was traffic, whether it was sports. It was always the station that really was the station of record for Central Indiana. And for me to be involved in the ownership of WIBC, uh, the heritage, the legacy, uh, is something that means an awful lot. And um, what you want to do as a broadcaster is be a great steward of your community. And when you own a, a, a radio station like WIBC, you really take that even more seriously. But you want to be a steward. You want to be somebody that's known for running a business that really does make a difference in the lives of everyone in the community.